This is Dr. Cho of Korea University Ansan Hospital, and I am speaking to you about my JFJ's article, Osteoscopic or Inside Anterior Talar Fibular Ligament Repair with and without inferior extensor retracular reinforcement. The modified Brostrom Gould procedure reinforces the repair with the inferior extensor retinaculum IER, in addition to the repair of ATFL and CFL. It is preferred for the treatment of ankle lateral ankle instability. However, the role of IER in the modified Brostrom Gould procedure has been questioned. Some studies such as anatomical study, biomechanical study, and prospective study have reported that IER reinforcement does not augment lateral ankle instability. Recently, osteoscopy lateral ankle ligament repair has become increasingly popular. Reinforcement using the IER may or may not be performed in osteoscopy lateral ankle ligament repair. So we investigated to determine whether IER reinforcement in addition to osteoscopic ATFL repair affected the clinical and radiographic outcomes. Our study indicates that functional and stress radiographic outcomes were comparable between osteoscopic ATFL repair with and without IER reinforcement. Not irritation developed in only two patients in the IER reinforcement group. Our study shows that IER reinforcement has no advantages compared to performing osteoscopic repair without IER reinforcement. Additionally, IER reinforcement can increase the surgical material cost and cause suture knot irritation. These days, these days, when I performed osteoscopic ATFL repair, IER reinforcement is not additionally performed. I think that we don't need to perform IER reinforcement when we perform osteoscopic ATFL repair. Thank you very much for watching this video.